Hi guys and welcome to another tutorial video of Woosa. In this video I'm going to explain to you how AliExpress dropshipping works in combination with a WooCommerce store. I can imagine you're very eager to start so let's jump into the tutorial. At first create an account at AliExpress and then agree with the dropshipping terms. When you have created an account at AliExpress.com, you will see dropshipping center in the account dashboard below. And normally when you click on it the first time, you should agree to the dropshipping terms and conditions before you can start with dropshipping itself. Once you have an AliExpress dropshipping account, we can start setting up your WooCommerce store and import products from AliExpress to WooCommerce. At first, download the AliExpress WooCommerce plugin on wusa.com. Then when you have downloaded the WooCommerce plugin, you should install the plugin in your WordPress backend. And you can do so by going to your WordPress backend, click plugins, add new, upload plugin, and select the file you have downloaded. In this case, AliExpress dropshipping for WooCommerce.zip. Please make sure that the plugin you have downloaded, the zip file itself, stays a zip file. So don't extract it, just upload the zip file within your WordPress backend. Next, when you're all set, go to AliExpress, click connect store and as you can see it's connected now successfully and then we can go configuring the settings so let's start with the filters let me explain you a bit what the filter exactly does within the aliexpress woocommerce plugin basically you can update or import new products automatically based on the filter you've set up so in this case we have set up a filter for men's watches with a maximum price of 150 with the category watches and men's watches. So basically these products within those filters will now be automatically updated or imported. And you can add as many filters as you want. Enter a name, enter a keyword name, which should be in the title or in the description of the product, enter a price range or leave it empty, select a category and if you want, you can also add a vendor rating on AliExpress itself. And when you are done with filling in these details, you can click save changes and the filter will be added. Next, we can check the global settings of the plugin. So what do you want to be doing with new imported products? Do you want them set to published or do you want them set to draft? And also you can enter in the conversion rate, which is basically the marching you want to add up to the price of AliExpress. Last but not least, we can activate or configure the scheduler for the auto sync price and stock and the auto import product. So basically, how often do you want to update your price and stock and how often do you want to import new products? Well, in this case, I would say daily import new products and every 10 minutes uh, update the price and stock. Now you have installed, activated and configured the AliExpress plugin, we can finally import some products. And there are two ways to do so within this plugin. You can import products from within the WordPress backend or you can import products from the URL, like this. Let's start with importing a product from within the WordPress backend. So we can here check for a category and let's go for baby clothing in this case and I want to import this product I can do it by this selecting multiple products or I can do it by this selecting the action but let's say import product and now you have to wait till the product is imported when it's done you will see the product is immediately imported and you can see it from within your WooCommerce store so you can see it over here with all the descriptions the titles the prices, etc. And you can also, of course, change anything related to this product. So you can change the title, you can change the description, because this is literally copied from AliExpress. Um, well, I might think you should change that uh, for many reasons as SEO, but also for your store's look. You can also change the SKU, the stock quantity. I wouldn't do that, but you can. Now let's try to import a product from a AliExpress URL. So at first go to import from URL, then we're going to AliExpress and let's check for a nice product, hand gloves, waterproof, 
nice i like those and basically we need the url so you fill in the url over here and then click the import button and then the product will be imported in your woocommerce store also aliexpress is used by a lot of dropshippers worldwide and it has a very negative name and it is mainly caused by dropshippers that purchase a product from aliexpress for a cheap price and then sell it for a much higher price However, not always the quality is very good of AliExpress. So I will give you a couple of tips to be a successful AliExpress dropshipper without uh, taking advantage of, uh, well, people who are like to trust other people selling good products. Know what you sell. Purchase the product itself so that you can judge the quality and the value of it. Based on that, you will not overprice your products and people will see you as an honest seller. Use AliExpress dropshipping to become a big web shop with a lot of revenue. Via AliExpress, you can test the popularity of products. Is a product very popular and realizes a lot of revenue? Then you can purchase the product yourself in high volume and maybe even better quality with better margin. Well, that was it guys. Hopefully this video will give you a nice start with AliExpress dropshipping for WooCommerce. Don't forget to subscribe to our YouTube channel and leave a thumbs up below this video. My name is Jessica Riesch and I'm the founder and owner of Wusa and we develop and maintain premium WooCommerce plugins. For now, I'm done and I'll see you in the next video. Ciao, ciao.